This baby has sagittal synostosis. I know you can't see it, but I can feel the ridge that goes posteriorly, anteriorly to the baby's fontanelle. I've drawn out the shape of the fontanelle here. Today, we're going to be taking out the part of the bone that contains the prematurely fused sagittal suture. We'll be making a small incision on the baby's head from here to here, and then going underneath the skin to remove this piece of bone right here. After we've removed this piece of bone, I like to make an incision and remove the bone here and here, all through that same tiny incision on his head. We'll make a second incision back here to help remove this piece of bone and also make a cut in the bone this way and this way. This allows us to mobilize the parietal bones out laterally to give the baby's head extra width because when the sagittal suture fuses, as it did in this child, the head shape is very narrow and very long. If you come around to the side, you'll notice the baby's head is very long in the anterior-posterior orientation, and the baby's develops some frontal bossing. This will all be corrected after surgery when the baby goes into a helmet for six to 12 months.